Hey, Justin Popovich here, live from Goss Central. I'm uh, <laughs> sitting in Brad, Brad's kitchen here, actually, with his uh, sweet little setup. I'm, love, I'm sure you've seen this before. So, uh, and uh, being so much shorter than Brad, I got a book here. I'm just going to step up onto it. We're in Brad's <laughs> kitchen. They like uh, Newman's own olive oil and vinegar. Is this any good? It's pretty tasty, actually. It's good on salad. You need to shake it. Drink it. Okay. We'll get into this in a minute. No, the reason I'm, uh, I, I came here today, a number of other reasons, but one of the things I wanted to do was Brad just released Feed Namer. And if you haven't seen this yet, this is a really cool piece of software. I've actually been talking to Brad a lot as he was going back and forth with the programmer and uh, kind of interesting just to watch the way a software project like this evolves. And um, if you're anything like me, you've probably gone to GoDaddy or, or any kind of domain finding site. And when you had a good idea, you start searching for domain names like... Justin's website tips. Does that website exist? You, you just think of things and you go and see if the domain's available or some, you know, some big news story breaks and you, you try it out. Like, hey, could I grab that domain and make some affiliate money or whatever? Sure. We all do it. Like, people do it all the time. So now you've actually created software that feeds that addiction. Basically, right? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and uh, uh, I just, I, I really, I, you've got it loaded here. If you don't mind, give me a demo. Uh, I, I'm sure people would love to see it, and then maybe just explain a little bit how it works. Sure, I'd be happy to. That'd be awesome. Um, so I've got the software open here. We're just going to flip to the screen. <clears throat> and you can see this is what happens when you open Feed Namer. It always starts out with the Google News uh, RSS feed built in, just to kind of give you something to start with. All right. But uh, in, in, in this particular case, we're actually going to delete this RSS feed because the Google News RSS feed is good if you're a news hound and you're into kind of news trends and that kind of thing. Right. Uh, but I actually like uh, Gadget News. Okay. Uh, so Engadget is a really cool website for Gadget News. And you'll see that most websites have like a little RSS icon here. So you see here, we've got the little subscribe uh, icon. So we can click on that. It actually takes us to a really ugly looking page. A lot of the time it'll, it'll reformat itself to, you know, depending yep. on the browser that you're in. And this is essentially the RSS feed for the website. And if you don't know what RSS is, I don't want to get into that too much, but it's essentially a skeleton of the content on your website. It's usually stripped out of ads, stripped out of design. And what happens, what we do with the RSS feed is we pull in each of these titles. You see here, app review, planetary for iPad, sleek audio, terminates agreement with 50 cent. These are all feed titles. Right. So I've copied the URL right here to the RSS feed. I'm just going to actually minimize this now because we don't really need Engadget anymore. And I'm going to enter the RSS feed URL into here and just paste it and I'm going to click add RSS feed. You can even try this with like my blog or whatever. Sure, yeah, you can do it with blog and, and you can add dozens of feeds. If you want to add more than one feed in, in, in your niche or uh, you know, a couple of people have brought up the idea of putting in like uh, uh, iTunes uh, top song feeds and mm -hmm. Amazon product feeds and app, um, um, uh, eBay feeds and ClickBank feeds and all the kind of data feeds that, that affiliate programs provide, which is something I never even thought of when we yeah. were creating the software. Right. Uh, but anyway, we, we've added this and you can see here that here's a list of all the most recent Engadget uh, titles. Okay. I'm going to go to the preferences section here and this is pretty straightforward, but uh, there's a bunch of different domain extensions. We're going to be adding a few uh, over the next couple of weeks. Uh, and then you can check whether you want to search for one word, two word, or three word domains. Okay. Now, if you search for one word domains, chances are you're not going to find anything. But every once in a while you will because sometimes they'll make up words. Mm -hmm. You know, they'll say something like, like Zippergate or something like that. You know, will come up in the news and it won't be taken as a domain name. It could be one of those things that people start saying. Exactly. You know, like, you know, there was, there was, I remember a, a, a domainer that did really well a couple of years ago when the recession first hit. The news uh, media picked up on this word staycation. Mm. It was like a vacation you had at home. Yeah, yeah. And someone registered the domain and was able to monetize it extremely well because right. it became, a, you know, a word that people started to use. Oh, we're going to take a staycation instead of a vacation or whatever. Right. So that, those are the kinds of things that will flag in one word domain searches. And that's why these RSS headlines are key because that, that, that's who, cre who creates the trends or people writing the headlines. Exactly. Awesome. So all it takes is one journalist to, 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 to coin a phrase or, or a word and, you're and you flagged it. So <laughs> for now, we're going to search for two word domains and we're going to search for dot coms because to me, dot com is the most popular. Right. And then I click over here to domain search and this is kind of an empty window right now. And you have a couple of options here. You could, if you were, you know, if you had hundreds of feeds and you wanted to filter out specific headlines that had the word yoga in them, for instance, or the word Osama bin Laden or something like that, yeah. you could type that into the search feeds and click search and it's only going to filter that particular data. But for our purpose, we're going to click scan all because we want to look at all the headlines. And you'll see what happens here is uh, planetary review, planetary iPad, iPad planetary. These are all different domains that are starting to show up as available. Okay. Now, obviously, there's going to be a lot of junk in here. There's going to be a lot of stuff in here. Like, nobody's going to want to register uh, with agreement.com or whatever it might be. But as this starts to load in, you will actually start to see some uh, domains that look 
like they make sense. For instance, planetaryreview.com, if we go back here to the RSS uh, database, this is an app review for Planetary for iPad. Pretty okay, easy. so uh, people who are looking to buy Planetary for the iPad might be searching for Planetary Review. So here, planetaryreview.com is available. You could create That's a blog right. that, you know, using, <laughs> using AdMob or one of these other, you know, mobile ad services. There's a number of different ways that you could monetize something like that. It's done. Look at that. Yeah, it's, it's actually pulling in quite a bit here. Wow. Um, uh, so there's a bunch of different things that will show up in here. Again, there's, there's a lot of stuff that you're not going to want to pull. But there is a lot of really cool, uh, like almost every time I've run this, I found a domain that was worth registering. And it's just one of those things that gets you thinking differently instead of kind of being behind the, behind the trends and doing keyword research and looking at data that's like two or three weeks old, yeah. you're actually on top of exactly what's happening right now, especially the, most, the, the top domains that come in are the most recent headlines. So the first stuff that you see is actually going to be the, the easiest to grab. Amazing. Amazing. Love it. Uh, I don't know. I, don't know there's, I was going to ask you a whole bunch of questions, but it's so self-explanatory. I think we can just start getting my coffee up and running and that's about all I need. Cool. Have you had any, uh, have you found any good domains for yourself that you've actually went and bought and are going to do stuff with? Like, yeah, I've already purchased uh, a number of domains actually in the last few days. In fact, uh, I pretty much had to cut myself off because I was buying so do, many. Yeah. 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 Uh, but I picked up some, you know, one of the things that came in, it was from Engadget, was they mentioned something about uh, there was somebody that hooked an iMac up to two 30-inch displays. And so what flagged up in here was 30inchdisplays.com was available. And, you know, I went and I looked and it wasn't huge numbers, but I think it was doing a few thousand keyword or maybe a couple thousand keyword searches a month. Hmm. And I thought, well, you know what? I own 30 inch displays and it's a more popular category as time goes by because more and more people are buying them. They're coming down in price. I thought I'll buy it. I'll probably get someone to build out a review blog or something and I might flip it for a few hundred dollars. But it's a quick and easy way to turn a sort of a 10 or 11 dollar micro investment oh, yeah. into something that's much larger. Yeah, that, well, that's exactly what everybody in the IM world, especially looking for you. Just like new ideas, things that you can try that you haven't. I like the, what you said about it. Gets you to think about it in a in a ahead of the trend kind of way. Like you're not doing keyword research after things have already exploded and blown up. You've missed a huge chunk of the monetization opportunity. In this case, it's it's the other way around. Awesome, man. Good job. Thanks. Uh, that's about it. So thanks for watching. I hope you like it. There's a, there's a link below this video to if you want to pick it up, go check it out. I'm sure you're gonna love it. And uh, what's it? What are you selling it for right now? Or is the price changing every day? The price is all over the place. So uh, probably if you're watching this video, the price is still going up. So, so grab it while you can. Yeah, awesome. Thanks again, bro.